I got my rock lights installed. I know it's not dark yet, but you guys already seen what hers look like. They're the same things from McTuning. And I wanted to do a run over with you on how I installed them, okay? Most of you already have whips. So all my power comes in down here. So I tied into the power of the whips that I already had back here, okay? My control box is just tucked up in this hole really good. A lot of the excess wire is coiled up and zip tied over here. Okay? Now, there's three 10 millimeter bolts to hold on this panel. I just washed this thing. That's dirty for my hands. There's three 10 millimeter bolts that will bolt onto this panel right under this ridge. You want to pop those out. Okay. I zip tied my lights up to these frame rails. To the frame rails. I zip tied the lights. Don't mind them. I got a lot of aftermarket stuff on my machine. Anyway, I zip tied these lights up here on the, the frame for the front, both fronts. I ran for the passenger side front, I ran the wire across here, and I zip tied them to here. You bring them down along this, and then you'll come under the machine. Those three bolts that you popped out, you can slide that wire up in there to run it to your back, okay? So once you get it back here, you run it right along the side in here. There's a lot of room. Just run it right alongside in there, plug it into your module. I just shoved mine in there. I really didn't have anywhere else to put it. That, it only takes like five minutes, literally, to hook these up. But you can see how I got them zip tied. I'm not drilling holes. I don't drill holes in my machine. So I got them zip tied. They've been working awesome on her machine. So, I hope that helps because I know a lot of you have asked how I installed them. Come over here. Same thing. That one uh, zip tied up to the frame and it just, the wire just runs over there. There's my old ones. I didn't even take them out yet. But the wire just runs right over to that, straight across, straight through that hole. And you zip tie it up. Super easy installation, guys. That's how I did it. You can mount your box virtually anywhere. There's plenty of wire with the tuning. And I will have the link in the description. <laughs> I know a lot of you are loving on my exhaust here. Custom exhaust. You guys always ask for a good look at it, so. Give you a better look at it. mount your box under here there is power access under here i just found it easy to do that and it literally it's just tucked up in there with all the wire it's not going to come out it's not going to go anywhere the only thing being right there is if you have to mess with the battery which i don't find having to mess with the battery very often so it goes right there but i just cleaned that sucker too just cleaned it. Oh yeah, another thing. Everybody's always asking me, Redneck, how do you keep your machines so darn clean? Redneck, how? 
How, redneck? Well, I'm going to show you how. Gotta get you some of, hold on. Gotta get you some of this for after it's clean. Okay, some of that. Uh, but while you're cleaning it, you're gonna need some of this. This, I found this on Amazon for $20. Uh, I've had this for like two years or somewhere in there, over. And it has washed our machines a crap ton of times and I do not dilute it. I put it straight into the foam cannon. Uh, I'll have links in the description to all this stuff. Now, where or where will my foam cannon be? I just used the darn thing all over here. There's my riding partner. I had to boot him out for the wash. Don't mind it, it's dirty. Uh, foam cannon. I believe this thing was like 16 bucks. This is an actual foam cannon, not that crap you get from Lowe's. I already have one of those pieces of crap. And then you need a pressure washer. Any pressure washer will do. We have a little electric one. We're winterizing, we're starting our winterizing process on stuff. So it's already drained and it's taken in the house, but I'll have a link to the one that I have. Plus I have videos on it also. And then uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, oh my God, Dollar Tree got these sham wows, man. Dollar, gotta get them. You wipe your machine off with that, it just shines. You wipe your machine off with that. And then, got more here. Got these from AutoZone for like $2. You get a bunch of towels in a roll. And that's what you use with that wires that I showed you. That stuff, it won't shine up your plastic, but it will shine up your paint. For your plastic, I use Meguiar's Tire Shine for the plastic. Um, I did not put any shine on the tires this time or the plastic. Obviously, I gotta clean that again. Dang it. But, uh, I still gotta shine it up, but I, I usually don't shine them for when I'm winterizing because they'll sit in here and they'll collect a crap load of dust in it and that. So, I probably won't shine them this time, but that's how I get the plastics to look new is Meguiar's Tire Shine. It doesn't matter if you use the stuff that foams or the stuff that sprays. And I'll tell you a little secret about Meguiar's. The mud will fall off. It will literally fall off. So, you guys are buying all that stuff from the ATV places for a high dollar that make the mud fall off. Meguiar's does the same darn thing and it's quite a bit cheaper. So, anyway guys, we'll give you one more roundabout on the machine, or around the machine. That Trump pole, that Trump flag pole is awesome. I'm having a bit of a problem with hers though. Notice it's a little bit dimmer. It looks good, but it's quite a bit dimmer than that. And I don't know why. So, not sure exactly. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. I hope that helps you guys. I hope you like this video. Throw me a thumbs up. As always, if you feel like donating to the channel, my PayPal link will be in the description below along with the links for all of that stuff. When you guys use my links to buy from Amazon, that's another way to help me because I get a kickback from that. So you guys use my links. If you don't wanna you know, donate your hard earned money but you wanna whip or something or 
some of them cleaners I was talking about. That helps out the channel. Not a lot, but it does. Something's better than nothing. It allows us to do this stuff. Uh, this is just a small little last minute video because I've been getting a lot of comments. People want to know how I installed them. Well, that's the redneck style, how I installed it. There's much better ways to do it, but that's how I got her done. And heck, it's not a space shuttle. We ain't going to the damn moon. Later.